Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be learning about attaching drawings as XREFs for annotation in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll attach several drawings to one drawing. By attaching drawings you can annotate multiple large objects in a single compact drawing. Detailed labeling is usually one of the last steps in the design process. In Autodesk Civil 3D you don't have to annotate objects in the drawings in which they reside. You can create a single drawing with an external reference or commonly referred to as XREFs to the object drawings. This process enables you to keep your annotation drawing size to a minimum while maintaining the benefit of dynamic label updates. So let's go about attaching drawings as XREFs for annotation. Using your Windows Explorer, navigate to the Tutorial Drawings folder. We have a shortcut to that right here. Double click on Civil Tutorials. Then go into your Drawing folder. Scroll down until you reach the Labels portion. Select all of the drawings that have labels beginning in their file name. Go ahead and right click and select copy. Now double click on your shortcut to your My Civil Tutorial folder. Then paste these drawings by right clicking and selecting paste. In a later exercise you'll modify some of the externally referenced drawings. To make the modifications the drawings must be in a location to which you have right access. Go ahead and open up your Labels 1A drawing, which you saved in the My Civil 3D Tutorial Data folder in Step 2. In the tool space, go ahead and open up your Prospector tab. Although a surface with an outside boundary is displayed in the drawing window, notice that the Surfaces collection is empty. The surfaces collection is empty because the composite surface is an external reference or XREF. The surface data, which is quite large, exists in a separate drawing. In large projects that have multiple surfaces, each surface object should reside in its own drawing. For example, the existing ground surface should exist in one drawing with other drawings containing data references to it. For example, the proposed ground surface should exist in its own drawing with a data reference to the existing ground surface. In the command line, go ahead and type in XREF. In the External References dialog box, notice the difference between the open drawing size and the externally referenced drawing size. The size of the current drawing is a fraction of the surface drawing. Using XREFs, you can use data from another drawing without actually inserting the data. In the External References palette, click this downward arrow right here. Now we want to attach a drawing. Next, navigate to your My Civil Tutorial Data folder. Now hold down your Control key and select Labels Alignments and Labels-Parcels. We're going to go ahead and open these two drawings. In the External Reference dialog box, make sure that the following settings are selected. The reference type will be Attachment. This setting specifies that XREFs remain with the current host drawing, which is the Labels-1A drawing, if the current drawing is attached as an XREF to another drawing. If the overlay is selected, XREFs that exist in the drawing are ignored if the drawing is attached to another drawing as an XREF. We want to keep the path type at relative. This setting specifies that if you move the current and reference drawings to another location, the references are less likely to be lost. Now note, before creating an XREF, make sure that the reference drawings are saved in the same directory as the current drawing. Attached XREFs must have the following settings. If the insertion point 
scale, or rotation is different from the current drawing, the Civil 3D labels will not work. Go ahead and click OK. Now you can see that the alignments and parcels appear in the drawing window, and the drawings in which they reside are listed in the External References palette. Go ahead and close this palette. Note that when you attach XREFs, a message may be displayed at the status bar indicating that there are unreconciled layers. You can find more information about this in later tutorials. So that's how you go about attaching drawings as XREFs for annotation in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.